This website says it's going to take me 10 months to hit 500k. I think that's whack. Let's do it way before that. So subscribe to the channel and help me out. And while you're down there, follow my Twitter and Instagram. Links are down below. Thanks. I've been Today we're talking about JoJo freaking Siwa yet again because, as you guys know, she recently dropped her music video Karma, which was met to mostly negative responses by basically everybody with functioning ears and eyes. The song itself wasn't interesting and sounded like something from 2007, and actually, as it turns out, the song was stolen by an artist who actually made the song around that time period, so I'm not gonna get into it, but apparently that's the deal with that. But I think more egregious was the music video, which consisted of JoJo Siwa dry humping her crush on what appeared to be Epstein Island. Not a joke, by the way. Literally just this random island that they shot this entire music video on. And sexual misconduct takes place. I don't know. I think it might be Epsteinian. Anyway, she was being laughed at for the music video and the song, and you know, people were having their laughs at her new style also, as this is completely stolen and ripped off from Kiss. But I recently found these two interviews that she did around the same time where she explains herself, which is kind of what I wanted to see. I want her to explain herself why would she do any of this stuff? But, um, yeah, let's take a look at Jojo Siwa Talks entering her new era, upcoming music video, and more at the iHeartRadio Music Awards. So tell me, man, the song's coming out this weekend. How you feeling? Are you ready? I have already, there's a little kid right there, so I'm gonna cover my face. I have already shit every brick possible that I got none left in me. So we're getting into this interview within 11 seconds, and we're discussing... <laughs> And we're discussing graphic details on Jojo Siwa's sphincter. Now I know about her bowel movements, uh, something I never thought in my life I would actually have to hear from uh, somebody, but hey, that's my job, right? That's literally what my job is, so that's fantastic. Now, despite that and the fact that she looks like she just escaped from a Pokeball, it's a lobotomite. This entire interview is just strange to me because honestly, like, we, like the song isn't that good and she's at an iHeartRadio Music Award. What could she have possibly won an award for? I mean, the station is the iHeartRadio Radio Music Awards, right? No one hearts the song, and the song is not worthy of an award. So I'm just lots of question marks floating over my head right now. So you're empty, but at least you're gonna be slim. My tank is empty, and <laughs> yeah, no, it had to be for this outfit. <laughs> Listen, you look amazing, and how does it feel to be like kind of out on a carpet living in your new era? Um, I'm not gonna lie, my best friend on the way over was like, how you feeling? I was like, I'm stopped. Ah, ah, first night out with bulls, here we go. Like, <laughs> this, this for sure is, this is gutsy, that's for sure. And then you got a party going on Thursday night, so how's it gonna feel to like have everybody oh, celebrating the music and finally I'm, hearing it? I am so excited, I am so excited. We're gonna- So I guess the party she's referring to was the Karma release party, which I'm not joking, was filled with, I think, three child predators. There was Colleen Ballinger who was present, James Charles who was present. Can we get a picture on screen of the leaked Instagram messages James Charles sent to that one guy? It was like perks of being my boyfriend and then he went on to list a bunch of shit that kind of exposed him for being the most down bad gay man in all of human history so the wacky cast of characters at the jojo siwa karma release party is um <laughs> i mean really not keeping the best company i should say and you know i was joking about this last video how the hook of her song is i was a bad girl when her entire fame and notoriety came from the fact that she was a goody two shoes who sold pink bows and everything was pink and colorful and she was a good girl but honestly after realizing that the video was shot on Epstein Island, and she had like two child predators at her release party. Maybe she is a bad girl. There's gonna be some fun surprises at my parties. It's oh. gonna be, it's gonna be a really good time. I, I've gotten a lot of good texts about updates for these parties, and uh, they're gonna evolve. Oh, can't wait! And we are talking about Cowboy Carter tonight. How she flipped into a new buddy slipped in the can't wait, dude. I hate to say this, but I don't think you're making it. Okay, you have a clean slate. You're not in any registry, so therefore I wouldn't be expecting any invites. What's the genre you feel like? You know, they're not ready to see JoJo Siwa jump into. Rap. Rap? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. I don't think anyone's ready for that. Do we want to hear JoJo Siwa spit bars? I forget the fact that we're in the midst of the Drake, Kendrick Lamar beef right now. You know, like the biggest rappers in hip hop are beefing. We need JoJo Siwa to enter the ring. I need to see that. I'm not joking. I would actually love for her to release a rap song. Got some bars in there? Hi, <laughs> yes. Okay, I think I could take a joke. What would the name of a JoJo Siwa rap album be though? Honestly, I, I wrote this rap song called The Lies Sound Better. Ooh. So sick, but I just the can't do- The lies sound better. Interesting. Yeah, Tupac is rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> that is- That's rough. Oh, man. I, yeah, I, I don't think Biggie died for this. The two of us have never actually had an actual rap battle before. I don't know why that is. Yeah. <laughs> 
because Don't could do never this. be a fair fight. <laughs> anyway, we got another one here from. Tell me about this. Will Marfuggy. This look, this is my, this is my Karma Black Beast look. This is my, it's my music video outfit. Um, got to bust. It's like what, 300 V bucks in the item shop. Out of the vault today. It's got some this thing lunges at you in a Dark Souls fight, by the way. So unless you're fully equipped to deal with it, you're gonna be breaking a few controllers. Rips in it, but you would never know. No, you no. I mean, how would you be able to tell? She does look like that one picture of Elon Musk, where Elon has like that armor on. If you, you might be able to. If you looked close enough, yeah. I mean, you were talking a lot uh, recently about you know sort of leaving the adolescent era behind and moving into a more adult era. Grown man, by the way. I don't want to, like, ins actually, I will insult the dude. I mean, like, come on. Dude, oh, this guy's, like, what, like, 30? 30 years old, and we're doing, it's like, so how do you feel about coming into adulthood? This is my life. I, I'm holding a microphone asking you about how you're feeling about entering your era. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's probably not that bad of a gig. He probably gets paid pretty well, but, uh, at that point, just get me an Uber Eats account. I'll, I'll be delivering pizzas. How has that been going for you? It's been fun. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been criticized, that's for sure. And what do you think that is? People are afraid of things they don't know. People are, people are... <laughs> Is that what this is? People are afraid of things they don't know. I don't think this is fear of the unknown. It's actually the exact opposite. It's fear of what the fuck I'm actually looking at right now. It's what I can completely see and understand with my own eyes and ears. I did not understand the music video. I didn't dislike the music video because I didn't get it. No, I got it. I, I watched it, okay? Thing, things can be scary for people. New things can be very, very scary. Um... But I, I think that creating- Why does she say that as if it's like my mother telling me to eat vegetables or something, you know? Or like ride a roller coaster for the first time. Things can be scary to people who are not used to it. It's like, I feel like that logic can be best applied to being captive in a foreign country during like a time of war and not knowing what they're going to do with you, right? Like if you're going to be able to see your family again or if you're going to be torn apart limb by limb. Not like Jojo Siwa putting on uh, the, this dress, you know? Art is such a special, special thing thing and I'm very lucky that I'm one of the people in the world that gets to create art. Talk to me about the people who support it, right? Because you're a person. You're a human yeah, who is... Uh, oh, shit. Look, Vivek Ramaswamy pulled up for this. Okay, never mind. It's legit. Talk to me about the people who support it, right? Because you're a person. You're a human yeah. who is, you know, gonna grow... Wow, this guy's making some astute observations. Here we go, buddy. There, You got there. You got there. She is human, correct? And she's a person, also correct? Oh, and change yeah. as you, adult, you know, become an adult and mature and, and will continue to change, hopefully, nice. for the rest of your life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so talk to me about the people who get it and what you've heard from them you know honestly i think i get it and i don't like it i the way that i'm able to keep going and keep being like wait actually this what i'm doing is right is because some of the most respected people in the world have come up to me and been oh, like what you're because some of the most right is wait actually this what i'm doing is right is because going and keep i the way that i'm able to keep going and keep being like wait actually this what i'm doing is right is because some of the most respected people in the world have come up to me and been like, what you're doing right now is so right. Oh, really? Yeah, I just don't believe that. You're telling me Vladimir called you up, flew you out to the Russian White House, shook your hand as an American diplomat and said, hey, Jojo, want you to know the Kremlin fucks with karma, okay? You know, look, you know, we've been talking a lot about NATO and eastward expansion and, you know, Crimean annexation and Ukraine and whatever, but no. I saw karma and honestly, I want to shake your hand. What you're doing is so right. Who is telling you this? You had James Charles at the Karma release party. That guy literally fiddles his fiddlesticks to little kids. Okay? I, I don't know what to tell you. Who is the most respected person in the world who's telling you that you're doing the right thing? Colleen Ballinger? Colleen Ballinger got famous for making an annoying sounding character go viral. That's like 2008 Fred telling me that he likes my music or something. And my music is just like, you know Miles. It is so right. It is what the world needs. Like, Can you name one person who who, nice freeze frame. What is the most respected person who said this is fire? I'm lit. I'm I'm learning from what you're doing right now, and that's crazy to me. I mean, I heard that from Lil Nas X yesterday. Oh, of course, Lil Nas X, the most respected person in the world. Yes, that's uh, of course. You know, I was thinking like, huh, silly me. I was thinking like world leaders and people of extreme positions of power and authority. Uh, why did I think about little Nas X, the guy who uh, had a concert in Roblox? Heard it from Megan Trainer a few days Megan ago. Megan Trainer. It, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. The support from people like that, artists, that means the world to me. What lessons are you learning about yourself as you 
progress on that journey? Honestly, that I am more fearless than I thought I was. It definitely takes some balls to show up in this. <laughs> it does. It does. Um, it, we, we've got music coming out soon, yeah? We do. We do. Karma coming out on April 5th and then a lot more after that. Are we touring? You know, I can't tell you everything. You can tell me a little bit. I can give you some teasers, but I can't tell you everything. All right. All right. I feel like the voice is a little forced. I can't tell you everything. <laughs> I'll take that as like a slight tease. Don't maybe. worry. Touring is my favorite thing ever, and I like to do my favorite thing ever. Have you thought about facts what you facts. want it to feel like when you I go out? What you want your show to feel like? Oh, I pitched the Somebody tour. Tells Doja more Cat like this? That I'm trying to indulge in it's that. It's full out. Yeah. The men uh, them to inconsiderate. Before I let you go, I, I read that uh, cigarette, you named your kids Eddie, and Teddy, and Freddie. Yes. Where did you get those names from? Yeah, I don't really care. Anyway, though, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media's links are all down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.